I think electronic records are excellent. We were in the military at one time and all of their stuff is electronic. And it was so much easier to get a hold of your record. They would just type in your name and pop up your record. Well, they don't lose it, it's not in paper form. It's, it's a very good idea. I went through a big medical crisis a few years ago and I had to take all my medical records and carry them from office to office and I had to keep repeating the same information over and over and over and to me it would just be much easier if um, all of that information could be somewhere electronically so that they could all access the same information and everything could be updated by them every time a new medical record comes in it would go in automatically so that all the doctors could see all the information. Ele electronic medical records make the most you know, sense now it just seems to be the, mo the modern way of doing things. In today's healthcare doctors have to see a high volume of patients at a very quick pace and we run the risk there of losing that very special doctor-patient relationship. And just like any relationship, it's only as good as how well we can communicate. And when we're rushed like that, we run the risk of, of damaging that relationship. So I wanted to find ways that we could extend the doctor-patient relationship. How could we increase the time that we, we interact without increasing the time that we spend together in the office? And, and by creating these, these social media worlds out there designed around our practice, I really feel like we're doing that. We've got our, our practice management system, we've got our electronic health record, and we're very active in the social media world, but there's this little piece missing where the patient can't communicate back and forth with us. What we were really seeking to do was to solve that problem, solve our patient communication problem in a HIPAA compliant legal way. Integrating the practice portal into our practice has been just amazing. And we've gone from just an electronic record system and a practice management system, but now having a way to engage the patient in their own health care. My primary care provider is the Veterans Administration, so and they watch over me pretty closely and they're pretty much all electronically uh, hooked up, I guess. I think if you could access your own records online with a password, it would be absolutely fantastic because as many times I would like to know what my blood work says, just so you know what diet to be on. Do you need more of this or more of that? It would be great to be able to access your records electronically. The physician that I see is constantly putting stuff in and I'm also you know, getting electrical notification of appointments. Pulls me up to his desk and you know, he goes over my blood work, you know, where we were last time, my entire history is there for him. And also the, the specialties that he sends me out to, the colonoscopy guy, the, the dermatology people, the, my eye doctor, they're all seeing the same paperwork, so I feel pretty confident that uh, the information's good. We're using technology to improve the, the human element in our doctor-patient relationship. The patients have really enjoyed uh, that extension of the doctor-patient relationship beyond the exam room. Having a practice portal is, is a new concept for patients, so not only is there a learning curve for the doctors to know how to use it, but there's a learning curve on patients to understand that you can have real-time, 24-hour access to your health information. Once we explain to patients that they can have online access to their chart, to their lab results, to patient appointments, to messaging, they embrace that. And we see our utilization of our practice portal, it increases by about 50 patients per week. Everyday lab work comes in electronically. So I'm at my desk and here comes a patient's uh, lab work. I can review that and in one click I can instruct the nurse what medication needs to be called in, but I also send the patient a HIPAA compliant legal email with an explanation of what's wrong with her, what we're going to do, and why. But what's really important to understand is that everything is, is contained behind a firewall. So the doctor, we're typing a message, that personal health information is staying here behind the firewall. Then the message is going to the patient and it's telling them, hey, you have a message here, go look behind the firewall. It's very similar to banking. All of us have, have had that message from our bank where it said, your account balance is waiting. They don't send us our account balance on Gmail. 
By using these online systems, the patients are able to get taken care of much faster. Patients really enjoy the experience of getting their lab results back so fast with a personal message from their doctor on, on what it means and why. And I really think that's improved uh, the patient experience in our office. I think for young people that the idea of having physicians um, and medical information on Facebook is a great, um, great tool, you know, to be able to reach kids who may not go and search it out on their own on a website, you know. And I think um, I've heard of, um, you know, physicians and medical professionals who are going that route, and I think it's a great idea. It would be a good idea because everybody has Facebook, so, and like a lot of people have Twitter. I agree 110%. I think using online anything is really good just because everything nowadays is relied via Facebook, MySpace. Even when you go to the stores on their bags, they say their website and they give their Facebook. I think, I think it's a great, it's a good social network. It connects everybody to one place and everyone can see it at the same time. I think there's a perception in healthcare that it's going to be your, your young professionals that really latch on to this concept of patient engagement and that really interact with you via your social media and your practice portal. What we've seen in our practice is that is not true. Using technology, it, it crosses all, all boundaries, all age barriers, all race barriers, all socioeconomic status, status barriers. We see patients logging into the portal and creating their account on their iPhone in the waiting room. I've got the children with elderly parents who are managing their parents' health care using personal health records. So this is a technology is transcending all of these barriers. Patients really like having online access to their doctor. And I think doctors fear that patients are going to call and send them email message after email message after email message. And they feel that this will take up too much time in their already pressed lives. And I think they also fear that it may be abused by the patients. And I can tell you, it doesn't take a lot of time and the patients don't abuse it. You just really have to create it in the, in the right way. With Facebook, for example, you don't create an individual page for you. You create a page for your practice. That does not allow personal messaging to transpire. And the same with, with Twitter. People that use Twitter sort of understand how it works. And you're not going to see patients um, asking you really, really specific questions about themselves. With a very, very limited amount of time, you have the potential to really extend that doctor-patient relationship and really to improve the care that your patients are getting. I, I'm a person that always goes online first. I think if the doctors had the information from all around, then they could put it all together and see it, and you would know what's going on. Well, I think it's a good idea that they use electronic forming for filing, just because it saves time and it's people friendly. My personal experience is that uh, the VA is all over me, and I feel very confident uh, in the care I'm getting there, and I can't help but think that uh, they're electronic records uh, isn't a key factor there. For me as a patient, um, having, having physicians um, you know, use electronic media and electronic health records would be ideal. I, I am excited about the future and about the day that that is just a standard. I really think SAGE is sort of pushing the envelope on what needs to be done. Doctors are very interested in converting to electronic health records. That's important. But with SAGE, we've moved beyond that. We're now really working on our patient engagement, really bringing the patient and making them a part of their own healthcare. And I think SAGE is really guiding us through that process. It's important for doctors to understand where the market is. And for any business, that's true. And right now, the market is online. Patients, most patients now, go online and research whatever issue they have before they come to the doctor. And they absolutely go and check on what we say after their doctor visit. So the doctors have a choice. We can try to fight that or we can embrace that. And my advice is that we embrace that and that we understand that the more educated the patient is, the more engaged they are into their health care, the better their health care is going to be. Mm -hmm.